What's going on guys, Bao here back with some genetic gladiators, so let's get into this, we're going to be doing the stage 3 boss, so let's hope for the best, but uh, here is the first fight, stage 7, 8, and then 9 of course is the boss, so those are the 3 we're going to be doing, but this one we do use X27, Behemoth and marvelous just to outspeed these guys and uh, I do get a pretty good tag here and I do use it multiple times just because I am gonna get back the gold anyway plus it was a thousand gold that I got from the divisions so yeah we're trying to just make it all the way through this mega division as fast as possible uh, just to get the rewards at the end that's honestly the only reason you're gonna get all the way through it you, know, you don't really get anything else, but um, let's see, we are going to, I mean I can kill Captain Peace. You know what, I'm going to use one more tag, and the only reason I'm going to use one more tag is to kill both of them, I guess. I didn't actually think I was going to kill both of them, but uh, I actually probably didn't even need to use one more tag. I could, I could have probably just attacked Captain Peace killed him and then attacked the other one but uh, let's get into the next one I hate fights that are waves they're just so annoying I mean they're not as strong as like the previous mutants but they're just so annoying because you're gonna have to use multiple tags you have to use one in the first one and you're gonna have to use one in the second one unless you just destroy the front two and then that uh, leaves it open for your mutants to destroy the back two, but since these guys are level 82 gold stars, yeah, we're just gonna outspeed them and hope for the best. I'm trying to get a pretty good tag here that does a decent amount of damage. I might actually just so oh, nice. We got a crit there, and we actually just destroy him. Uh, he's only got 13. I do get five hits. I really don't want to waste another tag. He might be able to kill one of my mutants. But I'm positive we'll get him low enough that, uh, oh my god, we hit him for almost 5k there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to get him low enough, even if he does kill one of mine, that uh, we'll still kill him. We might actually end up killing him right here if we can get a pretty good... Give me another crit. Ah, close. So all he has to hit for is 13, which of course it is going to, because it's got the buff. So that was actually pretty good. Our tag helped out a ton. We also did get some brutals and crits. So that helped out a lot, but we are going to be ha we are going to be using another tag. So there's 20 gold, and that we actually hit for 11. Um, I was actually honestly thinking about just using one more and getting it out of the way, but I think I can do enough damage because it's only 34 to where I can actually kill it and it survived with 200 HP. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, we're going to have to waste one more attack. I think I'm just going to waste the bat on it. Yeah, and then we'll use uh, the other two to attack Captain Peace. But even if uh, Captain Peace manages to take down one of the other ones, which I doubt, we would have still been able to beat him. So, yeah, that fight was actually pretty good. We got a really good tag that just destroyed the first one and helped a lot in the second one. So... Yep, speed means are probably the way to go once you start getting high up there because you're just going to have to use your attack multiple times to get mo through most of these. Well, not all of them. I mean, I could play it a little bit better, but here's the boss. Alright, so this one took me forever to beat. It took me multiple tries and multiple ways to actually figure out how to beat him. A ton of ways you can actually do it. Um with mythic mutants although I find they die relatively quick you get like I think like two hits and then they're just done even with the debuff on the boss it's insane but I managed to buy three of the speed ones and just put it on the bad x27 well I already had one on <laughs> x27 so I just bought two more which was 400 gold to put on the other two and then we're gonna waste about maybe 200 gold I think in tags to actually kill this guy since we're going to be hitting for 18. Uh, I would have liked a different tag here. Um, I forgot who it was, but they had a better 
tag, but they're not on my list. They're on my friends list, they're just not on my tag list. So, normally you would want somebody over 20k, which there are quite a few people with the tag that does that. So, yeah, normally you would want somebody like that, so it uh, is a lot easier. Because if you get somebody with like 25 to 30k um, brutals on this, it's so much easier and you gotta and you use less gold but uh, instead I actually use eight I think yeah eight tags so that does cost around like 200 and something gold which isn't really a lot considering this is probably one of the hardest bosses that we're gonna be facing and as you can see there that is why he just destroys me uh, and that is one of the reasons I actually needed the extra speed so I can get the extra three attacks because if uh, um, Trooper and Bat didn't actually have the speed on them I would only get uh, five attacks or no four attacks five four four or five attacks instead of the six I actually got in the first uh, wave but uh, yeah another way to actually do this is Saber Mutants, Mythic Mutants and the tag you're actually gonna want is going to be Saber of course but you're gonna want to have somebody that does like 20k. You're gonna have to use tags no matter what to get past this. But uh, it's just um, really depends on how much gold you actually want to spend or what kind of means you have. But that's gonna be about it. Talk to you guys in the next one.